Hello again people, it's Charlie and welcome back to the Chatting Leads YouTube channel. It's another instalment of Bite Size Leads guys, so we've got a few stories just to run through today. But before we get into that, as always, smash that like button, please subscribe. We're nearly at 200 as I have said on the last few uploads. If you could do me a solid, just press that subscribe button, it would really mean a lot. And let's get into it. So then guys, first of all, um, just an, a quick update just regarding Bielsa and his whole contract situation. Um, so over the last few days, um, Leeds CEO Angus Kinnear has actually um, said on an interview that Bielsa is 100% with Leeds for next season um, and that him signing the deal on paper is just going to be a formality. Um, you know, he said that Bielsa so far in the off season has been planning transfer targets and setting objectives for next season and um, so his heart and his focus is definitely on leads for next season now i know that doesn't come as a surprise to most leads fans um we all knew that Bielsa was going to stay and that the deal would get sorted in the off season but you know there may be some leads fans out there that were getting a bit worried um just because the club haven't announced anything official yet. Um, but I think these words from Angus um, suggest that there's nothing to fear and that it will be announced officially um, in due course. Um, but that, as he said, signing the signing on the dotted line, sorry, is just a formality because um, Marcelo Bielsa, God, is well and truly staying with Leeds for this season 100%. Next up, guys, we've got some transfer news. Um, so over the last few days, um, it's common knowledge that Leeds United are in the market for a left-back um, this summer. And we've got a new left-back that's being linked with Leeds, which is the Leon left-back, Maxwell Cornet. Um, now, I'll admit, I've not really heard his name up until the links to Leeds United. Uh, but, you know, I've had a look on youtube i've googled him had a look into him and from what i've seen he does look like a really good player seems like a player that bielsa would definitely be interested in um the attacking threat is obvious and clear to see and he also looks quite defensively solid as well the only issue that's kind of standing in the way of a potential deal happening at the moment is the fee so Leon won around 20 million for him and Leeds are slightly reluctant to pay that um, just due to the fee and the position that he plays. I feel like 20 million is probably an amount that they may want to spend on a midfielder or a forward. But for me, you know, as I have said, Leeds need a left back. We need a proper left back who can actually play left back, you know. Last season, Alioski, bless him, did really well um, at left-back, but he isn't a left-back, and in certain games you could just tell that and it was clear to see. So if it if if it means we have to spend £20 million on this Maxwell corner, then so be it for me. From what I've seen of all the other left-backs we've been linked with, he does look like the best one. Um, so if he's the right option for me, I would just pay it. Um and just get that first signing announced as soon as possible. Get the fans excited, especially with the fixtures announced yesterday as well. You know, everyone's buzzing. So let's get a sign in through door as soon as possible. And hopefully it can be corner if they manage to get around the fee issue. Another um, exciting um, prospect that's been announced over the last few days is that Ellen Road looks set to be increased to a capacity of around 55,000. Um, which to me sounds like a really good thing to do. Obviously, the more Leeds fans inside that place, the better. Um, it's a great atmosphere at the moment, but with an extra for sort of 15, 16,000 in there, it'll be even better and it will really intimidate teams that are um, coming to Ellen Road. Um, I think it may have something have to do with the West Stand because the West Stand's quite old, isn't it? It's quite dated um, and it needs an update. Um, so hopefully this extra capacity will be in the West Stand and they can maybe increase that and make it a bit bigger and just um, update it as well. I feel like I think that's the oldest stand in Ellen Road. Um, so it needs an update. As I said, the atmosphere is class at the moment anyway, isn't it? Let's be honest. But 
think about it if there was an extra, like I say, 15,000, 16,000 extra inside Ellen Road, that would be immense. And away teams would cack themselves when they were coming to play us then. Finally, guys, just to end the video on, I'd just like to speak about, obviously, um, Phillips and the, the England setup and things. Obviously, he had an unreal game against Croatia in England's um, first game of this Euros when we beat Croatia 1-0. He provided the assist and was just an absolute rock in that midfield and was unreal. Um, but obviously, now we're playing Scotland um, tomorrow night. You know, there's... Things being said on Sky Sports News, on Twitter and things like that, that the team could change for the Scotland game and whether Phillips may not play if Henderson's now a little bit more fit and things like that. Now, for me, the only change that needs to be made is Mings out and Harry Maguire in because it looks like Harry Maguire's fit now. The fact that Phillips has even been spoken about being dropped at all after that performance is just baffling. I don't care if Henderson's 100% fit. Um, KP is a, an 100% starter for England now. And for me, he should be starting all of these games. Well, unless, say, if we beat Scotland tomorrow and then the Czech Republic game is just a, a nothing game, maybe drop him in that one. But in all important games, he should be starting for me. You know, completely pocketed Modric and um, Kovacic in that opening game. Hopefully he can continue to have an amazing tournament so the talk of him being dropped is just absolutely outrageous so for me he should definitely start and that does conclude the end of today's video guys so as i said at the beginning please smash the like button and please subscribe and i will see you in the next upload thank you very much